it's Lori here. I'm so glad you came back to visit me today. I've got a card I want to whip up using some of the Tailored Expressions Rainbow Supplies. First I have the Over the Rainbow die. This is so cute. It's got a little heart in the middle. I've got the Over the Rainbow sentiments that go along with the rainbow die. I've got my large rectangle masking stencil. I have a piece of, um, this is a cut down piece of a sticky Cricut mat or a silhouette mat. Um, this is actually a generic one from Amazon and I'll link it below, but this is the sticky part. I have a piece of cardstock. I've got my um, score buddy. I'll be using Tailored Expressions Oreo Black Ink Confetti Cake. This is kind of a blue ink and of course ink blender brush. And I do also have a piece of fun foam with the rainbow already ready to go. So first thing we're going to do I'm going to score my card base at five and a half just so that's ready to go. And I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder to just make that nice and creased. So recently I saw my friend Betsy use one of these sticky mats and I thought that's a great idea. And it instantly made me think that we needed to use this with the masking stencil. So I'm just placing my card base onto the sticky mat. It's not super sticky. I mean, it's enough to peel off without ripping your cardstock, but you still wanna be careful. And now I'm gonna take my masking stencil. So I'm just gonna slide those lines around until we have that whole A2 size card framed perfectly, which is right there. And then I'm gonna press that stencil down onto that sticky mat and that will hold that in place. I'm not using tape or anything. That extra edge there just holds down to that mat. Now we're gonna go in with confetti cake and just blend some ink into this masking stencil to give us the perfect masked area. So now I'll just pull that mat right off and you can see my card has that perfect frame. Now one tip I have for taking cardstock off of your sticky mat, peel the sticky mat down and that way your card will stay flat. If you peel your card off, sometimes it will curl a little bit. So just peel that mat down like that. And then always keep your acetate to place back on top of your sticky mat to keep it nice and sticky. So I've already die cut the pieces of the rainbow and I have a little heart that goes in the middle. And like I said, I've die cut this out of fun foam as well. And I always, if you've watched my videos before, I always keep the die cut in the negative so the die cut doesn't become wonky. Sometimes the fun foam will stretch and this just keeps it in place. So I'm adding some of my favorite glue. This is Barely Art Precision Craft. I will also link this in my description. And I'm just adding this to each of the die cuts here and then a little on the heart. And then we'll just go back in and add each color. That liquid glue gives you a chance to just slide that in place. So it's perfectly covering that piece of fun foam. So just like that. By adding this foam to the back, we've given ourselves the perfect dimensional rainbow. So next I'm taking a small chunk of press and seal and I'm gonna place that down over my rainbow die cut and just kind of rub that in place so it sticks. The cardstock will stick to the sticky side. And next I'm just gonna slowly peel up the negative off of the fun foam. And as long as you've given that a chance to dry, the die cut should not come up. It shouldn't come up. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with some more liquid glue. The fine tip on this glue bottle is amazing. I love it. And then you'll take your um, press and seal and you'll center that right to where you want it on your card front. And I'm gonna just go off the side just a tiny bit. 
and then I'll press down and give that a second to dry. You can also add a large block to it if you want and give that a second to just really adhere nicely to the cardstock. All right, and then we'll just go in and just slowly peel up the fun foam and your rainbow is perfectly in place. I decided here at the last minute to add in the cloud duo die and I've gone ahead and cut a couple of these out. And I think I wanna go ahead and stamp a sentiment on the front. So I'm gonna use the little hello sentiment. We're gonna add this to the cloud. And then I'm just gonna add some dot roller adhesive to the back of the cloud and add that onto the die cut rainbow, one on each side. So my card wouldn't be complete without adding some clear drops to the front. So I always place them down first right where I want them. And then we'll go, at, go in with the jewel picker and add the glue. Just like that. So I decided to slide that cloud die down just a little bit. But other than that, that card is finished. Super easy. The masking stencil is made so much easier using that sticky mat to hold that down. You don't have to tape it and it just works out so much quicker. And they were quick to begin with. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's card. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you have any questions about the supplies, everything is linked below in the description of this video. I hope that you'll take a minute to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm always trying to come up with new videos to share with you guys. And I'm hopefully I'll have some more soon. Thanks so much for coming by today. And I hope that you have a great day.